for just a second. We oh. just wanted to ask a couple questions and take a little bit of video about what's happening for the youth summit. Would that be okay? Yeah. If you're uncomfortable with it, you can just okay. say you don't have to be in it. Is there anybody who doesn't want to? It's okay. They're not uncomfortable. They're they're spent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of brain power, I can imagine. Yeah. So we're just trying to find out um, for maybe some of the people that aren't here. We want to be able to explain to them kind of what was happening at the youth summit. So if you'd like to let us know kind of what you're doing and like you're writing a treaty, are you going to send it somewhere, how are you developing it, that kind of stuff, if you wanted to talk a little bit. So actually what we're like doing right now, we're like we're writing uh, down ideas for each article of the treaty that's going to be sent to Washington in 2020. So trying to get ready for this Christmas, I think we're going to send it there. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens and if it actually works to get people to change their minds. How do you determine what to put on your treaty? they gave us topics and we've gotten presentations from everybody they did uh, like presentations on the topics yeah, so for, like since yesterday we've been in various workshops that have different um, subjects about the treaty code very cool yeah, it would be best to include that the subjects where we got this information from was from like you mm -hmm. they like they did presentations to help us get educated on why we're writing this uh, treaty and so we took the information that we learned and we're putting them into now we're putting them into articles for the treaty to say like why we want this treaty to be a thing and like why we want and what we want it to be on it because it's like the youth perspective why do you think that's important why do you need a youth perspective for like a treaty like this how like if one if your neighbor has a gun and you actually get a gun and you know like there's only five legal countries that own um Right? And what, ha well, what about those other countries? What are they going to do? So that's why we're doing this. Because um, we're also... Um it affects everybody. It doesn't just affect the people who has them. It affects us. Like If, like, if anybody got into nuclear war, the entire world would just end pretty much. Because there's so many. Like It wouldn't just affect like those countries who have nuclear weapons. It would affect our country and every other country. And a good point to make <laughs> is it does not only affect now, but it affects Later. the future. Yeah. Not only the future. It affects everyone and even like, our system, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. why it's good to include the youth because they are the future. So this is going to be affecting them, not only like the adults. And just because we're like youth, it doesn't mean we don't have good ideas. Like, just look at Greta Thunberg. Like, she's making so much of a difference in the world, and she's so much of youth. And like, sometimes people uh, criticize people on like the fact that they're youth because their argument is valid. And that's the only thing that they can attack them on. So, like, I think it's a good idea to show them that, like, even though we're youth and we're like kids or whatever, we still have a say and we still want to have a voice. So, overall, how are you enjoying your experience here at the the youth summit? 10 out of 10. Good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. Yes. Is this something you'd want to see again? Yes. For sure. Yeah? Is there anything you can think of that you really definitely, if they do it again, you want to make sure is there? Maybe something new? Maybe something you really liked here? I enjoy the workshops and like the interactive pieces between the groups presenting and the groups uh, getting informed. So I know some groups had like an alarm system that uh, they like played and they reenacted like a scene of oh hide under the tables and like and then my group personally played like uh, nuke my town uh, nuke my town I guess simulator where we took someone from the audience and said where do you live and we pinpointed that town and showed them what would have happened if that bomb was dropped into their town. And it really like opened their eyes and kind of made them more informed and more concerned. So those interactive pieces really did help. That's great. That's Thank amazing. Thank you guys so much for your time. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys.